Can I paint my parrot's cage? Because it's getting... Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Purplest Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon. And today I'm doing a quick video to tell you how it's going. Well, first of all, you could see that some spots, seems like you could see it more, huh? Well, some spots are still kind of gray. Some stop, spots are black. I'm using Rust-Oleum because it's supposed to be the right paint to use, according to all my research. And uh, I've been spray painting myself. This hand's not too bad. I'll have to show you my other hand. My feet, my everything. Uh, but I've also been painting my cage at the same time. Let's see, uh, and maybe the grass too. So look, there's a good spot. You could really see I've still got some gray. What I really was aiming to do was to um, get the uh, rusty spots, like the joints, anywhere where I might have a problem where I don't want my African grays to bite at it. Uh, trying to take care of that because I'm gonna put one pair of my African King Grays in this monster cage and I'm going to see what happens. So I'm very excited. It's outside now so that it can dry. You could see up here, it's still more gray. Um, I was kind of surprised. I've used four cans of paint so far, but uh, I'm pretty happy because the parts that are dry are feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna watch my parrots like a hawk when they're in there to make sure it really is okay. Uh, you know, like I kind of feel like you can't expect perfection because that's really hard to come by. So I don't expect my cage to be perfect, but I want it as close as possible because it's really important to me that my parrots have a nice safe home, um, a nice big, like the biggest space I can give them. And I really want that space to be healthy, you know, and not have rust. The cage isn't even that old, but we do pressure wash it and we pressure wash it because it just takes the poop off and nothing works the same way. So um, the pressure washing has taken its toll. And so this is my attempt to revive my cage. Wish me luck. So um, I had put two hands on and then I went to lunch with black hands. And then uh, I got a little bit of the paint off, came back, put two more cans on. And so now I'm going to let it dry for a couple hours before I put it anywhere because I think it still smells like paint. Let's see, maybe not but it's still a little sticky. So I'm gonna leave it out for a couple hours uh, and I am not gonna put my birds in it tonight. I will wait at least until tomorrow, like at least until I feel like it's really good and dry. Um, but as far as the rust spots go and stuff, I feel like that's pretty well taken care of. And my African grays are gonna be in the front lanai and they'll be covered because the front lanai has a roof so that means that I don't have to worry about future paint rusting or anything like that. So that's why I'm messier than usual. Look at this. Oh my God. I, oh, look, you could see my nails, my, I'm, and washing my hands did nothing. So I feel like I'm gonna have to take a bath in acetone or, you know, like nail polish remover to try to get it off. Eek, but hopefully my parrots are gonna be thrilled Thank you for watching my short, blissful, painted video. If you have better ideas on painting a video, I mean, of <laughs> painting a cage, please comment below. Let me know. Thanks.